this is our first day in Bolivia. We passed the border from Peru and now we're on uh, some kind of boat or small ferry boat. Let me show you. We're passing the Titicaca Lake at a narrow point. It's very interesting and I'm afraid to get off the bike because it could fall. Dai drumul cu frână, ușor, 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 ușor. Opa! We're at uh, 4,600 meters north of La Paz. Uh, take a look at this place. See that road over there? It's gonna be very interesting. Today we're heading to the famous death road of Bolivia. And this is just the beginning. So that's it, we just started climbing the death road, probably the most famous dangerous road in the world. Let's go now! Now, let me tell you about this death road. If you pay attention and if you don't have crazy speed, I don't know, you won't get a bruise by doing this Bolivian death road. Take a look. It's not very difficult, although there are some parts where it's not or or you have some water or things like that. If you don't pay attention or if you get distracted by uh, this beautiful scenery, you may end up down here. In the past, this wasn't a tourist attraction. It was actually a road, a connecting road. And uh, there were cars over here, there were buses and a lot of people died in that period. That's why it's called the Death Road. There's not really much to see in La Paz if asking me. However, it's a good one day or two day stop on your way to the south or to north in this part of America. 
However, if stopping in this city, uh, there is a place you must see. It's called the Witches Market, Mercado de las Brujas in Spanish. And it's very interesting because you can find all sorts of things over here. Finally, we did it. We're on the Sahar de Uyuni, the largest salt flats in the world. And it's incredible right now because it's late January and the desert is flooded. It's water all over the place. And the picture is like walking on the clouds, like walking on the, sk on the skies. That's it, we're packing. Again, this is the thing when uh, riding a motorcycle, you're always on the move, but there, is, uh, there are some places where it's a pity that you can't spend more time. This one, the Salar de Uyuni, is one of those places, but we have to hurry up because uh, there's a schedule we have Bolivia was a very intense and rewarding experience. Now we have a very nice road to, to Pisa and after that we're gonna cross the border to Argentina.